Hey, how's it going? This is Justin Gilman with Quantum Leads, and today I'll be walking through your digital marketing attack plan to show you how you can turn your website into a lead generation machine and really drive some revenue to your business month over month. Now, to get things started, take a look at the top of the page here where we have AC Repair San Antonio. You're going to notice that there's 1,600 searches every single month for that search term, so a lot of potential out there, and even more so when you start to think on the broader scale. Um, as far as, you know, AC installation, AC repair near me, um, and all these other variations of this keyword. So definitely something to think about. However, for the sake of this video and time, we are just going to focus on this keyword and talk about how you could turn those 1,600 searches into monthly revenue for your business. Now, let's start on your website and talk about how we can do that. So I'm on your website, and as I scroll through it, um, you know, we're looking at your AC repair page, and it's very visually aesthetic. It serves its purpose. It has a lot of content. However, you know, from an SEO perspective, there's a lot of improvements that we can make to increase the search appearance for not only this page, but all of your other pages. But like I said, since we're focusing on AC repair, we're going to look specifically at this page. So let's talk about our first way to improve your website, which is going to be internal search engine optimization. Now, internal SEO is essentially all the different things we can do from within your website to increase your search appearance. Now, Normally, when you hear about internal SEO, you're going to hear things like title tags, heading tags, local business schema. And while those are all important, we're going to focus on content and keywords because those are the two most important things. Um, and like I said, they're going to really help us lay the foundation for our website. Now, let's talk about content first. You do have a lot of content on this page. Um, normally, I like to recommend about 750 to 1,000 words um, on any given page because we want to be very content full. Now, the reason I say we want to be content full is because Google tends to rank websites with a lot of content a lot more favorably. And it really makes sense when you think about it because content gives users something to engage with. When a user has something to engage with, they tend to have a better experience. And ultimately, that better experience leads to either a reoccurring visit to your website or to Google in the future for other searches. So it makes sense that Google would promote a website that promotes that positive user experience. Um, and like I said, because it's a win-win scenario for both them and you. So we want at least 750 to 1,000 words. Right now, your page, I believe, falls within that category. Now, we don't just want any content, though. Um, you know, you're probably saying to yourself, well, Justin, why don't I just throw up a 3,000-word page and it'll rank number one? And while that sounds good based on what I just said, it doesn't work because we have to make sure that our content is relevant. And the way we do that is with our keywords. Now, keywords are the most used words or phrases on a page. And based on these keywords, Google is going to determine what our website is about. I like to recommend that people use your keywords to answer the three main questions for Google, which are, you know, what do we do? Where do we do it? And who are we? So let's go to your keywords right now and see if they answer those three main questions for Google. Um, and if they don't, let's talk about how we can optimize them to make sure that they do. A tool I use called Keywords Everywhere. And like I said, we're sticking with your AC repair page. If we scroll down here, you're going to notice your most used keywords. Um, obviously, these are not, we keep working our way down. Um, these are not all your keywords, but they are the first maybe 10 keywords that you have. And we're going to really focus in on the first five to six um, because we really want to harp on our industry specific keywords early. So let's kind of get into it. So, number one, air. Um, air is a very popular keyword in the AC industry, so that's a pretty good job there. Number two, I always recommend some sort of industry modifier. So in this case, you do have repair. Another one would be installation. Um, obviously, we're focusing on repair, so repair is a really good number two keyword. Now, at the number three spot and the number four spot, I always recommend you're putting your location in there. Um, I know you put it down in your five and six spot, but I think your three and four spot is perfect for it because it really harps how important your location is to drive that local traffic. So definitely something to think about. Um, normally we'd want our city at number three and our state at number four. Now, number five and six, I always recommend putting your brand in there. Um, a lot of people think that they rank number one for their brand just because they own the domain. And while that's true in some cases, it's not true in a lot of cases because oftentimes you get a business with a similar name or even with the same name, maybe across the United States or even across the globe um, in another country. So. Definitely something to think about because we want to rank on that national level for our brand as well. Um, so like I said, let's kind of recap one and two industry specific keywords, three and four, I recommend the location and five and six, I always recommend your brand. So definitely kind of a layout or kind of an idea um, of, as to what you should do with your keywords. However, let's take a look at your competition and see what they're doing as far as content and keywords go. So here we have Comfort Boys. They rank on the first page organically for San Antonio AC repair. 
And let's see why. So if we scroll down, you're gonna notice that they have a ton of content on this page. Now this is their home page, and right now they have over 2,500 words of content just on this page alone. Um, so a very contentful site, and you're seeing that they're getting those favorable rankings from Google um, because they do rank on the first page. But let's take a look at their content to see how relevant, or let's take a look at their keywords, I should say, to see how relevant this content is. So we're back in keywords everywhere, and if we scroll down here, notice that they have air at number one. Um, so a very industry-specific keyword, obviously, like I said, a very popular one as well as you have air up there too. And then right away, they immediately go to the location at the number two keyword. They have San Antonio. Um, and then they have system, call, the best. And it starts to kind of fall off past that. However, you see the, you know, the advantage as to why you would put your location within those top three to four keywords. Obviously, they put it at number two. And while I wouldn't recommend it being that high, um, I do recommend it being within your top three or four. So definitely something to think about. And you're seeing them kind of reap the benefits of a lot of content as well as that location based keyword. So definitely a group of keywords to look at. Um, I would recommend, you know, basing it off of the suggestions I told you and then kind of using this as a guide um, as to what you can or don't want to put. So definitely something to think about. But let's go back to your web page and talk about external SEO and how it ties into everything. So here we are back on your website and we're talking about external search engine optimization and unlike internal SEO, external SEO is going to be everything we can do away from your website in order to um, increase your search appearance. So in this case, let's talk about backlinking. Backlinking is very simple. It's just a link from one website to another. But from an SEO standpoint, it's a lot more than that because what it does is it transfers SEO power from one website to another. Um, and what it's, what it's ultimately saying is that it's a reference to Google saying that one website trusts another website or supports the information that is coming from a specific source. Now, like I said, that acts as a recommendation and Google sees that and they say, hey, this quality website recommends another. So it's got to be a quality website. So really good to get quality backlinks. However, focus on that, um, that quality word, because oftentimes, you know, I see people buy $50 worth of links on Fiverr and they get 10,000 links and their website immediately crashes down 50 rankings. And that's no mistake um, because just like a good backlink can tell Google that you are a respectful or trustworthy site, a bad backlink or a harmful backlink can tell Google that you are a spammy or harmful site. So something to really focus on because we want to focus on the quality of our backlink structure. I actually have a tool called Ahrefs. So let's take a look at your current backlink structure and what you're working with. So here we are in Ahrefs, and once again, remember, we're looking at your AC repair page specifically, which generates a 7 UR and 18 DR, and generates you about nine organic users every single month. So not bad, you know, it's a better starting point than most of the companies we see. However, there's a lot to improve on. So let's talk about what these metrics mean. So UR stands for URL rating, and what that is is the individual power given to a single page. So in this case, we're just talking about your AC repair page, whereas DR stands for domain rating. And what that is, is the power that goes through your entire website. So not only your AC repair page, but your home page, your AC, um, all these different air conditioning pages, all of those are essentially summarized in DR. So let's take a look at some of your competitors and see what they're doing as far as backlink structure and the power that they're generating. Here we have Comfort Boys with a 21 UR, a 1.1 DR. Um, and this is obviously on top of all the other internal factors that we talked about earlier. And they have 953 keywords that they appear for, which generates them about 1,400 users every single month. Um, and to put kind of a number on that, you know, the traffic value is estimated at $34,000 a month, almost 35,000. So a lot of value from this traffic. Um, and let's keep working down the line here. We have Armendia. They have a 38 UR and 11 DR, which generates them about 2,800 users every single month and puts them at a traffic value of $80,000. Then we have Will Fix It with a 34 UR, a 12 DR, generates about 4,000 users per month, and they have a traffic value of roughly $75,000. So a clear correlation between a strong internal SEO structure and a strong external SEO structure and the amount of traffic and traffic value that you get. So definitely something to think about. But let's go back to the Google search engine results page and talk about the Google Map Pack. Well, and what we've been talking about is down below in the organic search results. However, if we scroll up here, you have this map pack. Now, this is the Google map pack, and it's really important for local businesses because it essentially gives you two different places that you can win on Google. You can win down below in the organic search results, or you can win in the Google map pack. And if you can do both and take the number one spot in each, you essentially guarantee that 1,600 searches a month see your website first before looking at another competitor. So a lot, a lot of potential here. 
let's talk about how do you get into the map pack or how do you rank in the map pack. So to get into the map pack, you have to fill out the GMB form and verify your business via postcard, which is 100% free. Um, but to rank in the map pack, you have to adhere to the different factors that it's looking for. So number one, what they look for is that you filled out their GMB form to 100%. Um, the reason I say 100% is because the more information you give them, the more reputable your business looks. Number two, you need strong organic results, which is why SEO is so important because it not only does it influence down below, um, but it also influences in this Google map pack. And then number three, we need citations. Citations are all the different places your business's name, address, and phone number are listed online. Um, some popular citations are things like maybe Yelp, the Yellow Pages, Yellow Book. All of those are different citations you can get for your business. Um, and those are really important in the Google Map Pack. So let's take a look at how many citations each of these companies has and determine how many you'll need in order to outrank them on top of all the other additional factors we talked about earlier. So here we are in a tool I use called Whitespark. And if you look at the bottom, you have San Antonio Air Service Experts with 37, Service First AC Repair with 56, and Atlas AC Repair LLC with 23. So all in all, some strong competition here. However, normally I like to recommend that you double the biggest number in there. So if there's 56 as the biggest number, you're going to need 112 citations to really go in and outrank them on top of that strong organic rank in the 100% filled out profile. So definitely something to think about. There's a lot of potential out there. Um, this is all I have for you in this video. Once again, there was a ton of things that we didn't get to talk about for time's sake. However, we'd be happy to set up a meeting with you to discuss any questions you had in this video or maybe questions you have about things that weren't mentioned in this video. However, my name is Justin Gilman. This is Quantum Leads, and thanks for watching.